Hey y'all, uh, this is a video about a uh, user asking me how to mount uh, NTF partitions, NTFS, uh, aka Windows partitions, and uh, how to have them mounted at startup, and the permissions, etc. Um, I have uh, at least four, so I go to the desktop here and I right click, and if you go to icons, and I'll just select show volumes, one, two, three, four. Okay, now if I click on these, it just opens up right away. All right, but you have to configure some um, permissions, so I'm going to unmount that. Okay, it's not finished. Okay, so I usually don't show these anyway, but uh, if you see that, um, that's what's going on. So here's some notes I made. Uh, you need to get some files from Pac Man, Gammon, GVSS. GVFS, NTFS 3G, and DOS tools. Uh, the NTFS 3G is to enable read and write to the NTFS partitions. GVS is for uh, file permissions, and Gammon is part of the Thunar, I think. So I'm just copy. I already have these installed. We'll just copy this. Go to a terminal. Zoom in. Zoom out for a sec. Paste. Zoom back in. Just press enter, and as you can see, it says reinstalling all those files, so I don't need to, so I'm going to press no here. Okay? Once installed, you have to configure uh, GVFS itself. So uh, to do that, um, it's better to go into your super user account, and then uh, we'll change directory to Etsy, Oop. Uh, poll, kit, dash one and then rules dot D and if I do a list out I have a, uh, three files in here and the one you want to create is this one first one is 10 enable mount dot rules and if uh, you have G edit or nano um, or whatever I'm going to use leaf pad and then a space and then uh, start typing 10 dash enable now it's already been created so that's why I can tab complete but you'll have to type the whole thing in uh, because it's usually it's not created by default and here it is here and that's all you do you just uh, copy and paste this in I'll put this in uh, uh, the description to a paste bin and it's also on the Arch Linux wiki and the effects are immediate um, you don't have to reboot or anything okay and and the um, next part is to add um, U to uh, permissions of disk. So if you're still in root, you can just do a G password dash A percent user will, will include you, your name, and then disk. And I'll say your name has been added. Okay. Next is to list out the drives, and that's sudo BL kid. So we'll go back to the uh, terminal. I'll exit out of here. And it's sudo b l k i d. Enter. Give it a second. And you can see here it has all of the partitions, including uh, the Linux one I'm using. But you, it tells you what type it is: NTFS, NTFS. And the top one here is extension four. I know something interesting. It's upon each reboot, these are in different order. I don't know why. Uh, so what we want, for example, if I want to mount uh, this partition mirror is that's just a label you don't have to worry about it is the main thing is we want the device DEV SDC one and the type but right now we just want this okay so first of all um, let's do a sudo mkdir slash and that slash will tell it to go to root directory, mirror, enter, okay? And then uh, we want to mount that uh, partition. It's a little different though, and it's right here. Um, sudo mount dash t ntfs 3g and then your device to the directory we just made. So we'll just copy and paste this. Control C, 
back to our command line, paste, enter. Now if we go into, uh, this is XFCE4, we go into Thunar, and control L and just hit the uh, slash, you can see mirror is here, it's listed here, and it'll give you the contents of the NTFS, you can tell this in a recycle bin, volume system information, you can tell this is a Windows partition, okay? So this is for um, making this to, to run at boot up. If you don't want to do that, um, all you have to do is uh, the, these first parts here, configure GVSS, GVFS, sorry, and then add your user to disk and that's it. But beyond that, we'll list, list out the drives, then make a directory to check and then mount it. And then uh, to unmount, it's just sudo umount slash mirror. So because you don't want it to, well you can leave it there if you want but it's best to do that so I'll just paste that in now if you go back to uh, say your home and go to slash just one slash go to mirror there's nothing there because it's been uh, unmounted okay so to make this run at startup we're going to add this to the file system table tab and that's I'll zoom in here the device that we just mentioned the uh, directory made and then uh, NTFS 3G is the file system type and then we'll add the UID so username here would be my username so you just replace username with your username and the rest is the same so again sudo leafpad etsy fs tab okay and make this a bit larger so I'll just take that line highlight it or we'll copy and then at the beginning of the next line here under this device here just paste that in um, and sort of space these out a bit if you want and maybe you add the, put this over here this is just for readability it's no it doesn't really make much difference and bring this back again it doesn't really matter so and control uh, S to save and control Q to quit and then after that uh, reboot so I'm going to just save that close and uh, I'll come back after a reboot and see what the uh, if it's working and what the difference is okay so we're back after a reboot and let's do that same thing go to desktop settings icons and removable drives and you notice one thing the uh, if you remember the uh, NTFS drive mirror is no longer here and that's normal okay if you have these on your desktop I just uncheck that because I don't need them there if you go to Thunar you won't see it so you have to actually go to the directory slash mirror and there it is there alright and you can uh, play stuff from it movies or whatever you have you can uh, Create a new document, create a new folder, you can delete, etc. So um, to make this a little more accessible, there's a couple things you can do. Just open a terminal and uh, in uh, Arch Linux it's fairly straightforward. Is uh, we'll do a ln dash s. Uh, slash mirror again that directory and then we'll just call it if you want to call it mirror or whatever enter exit the terminal back to our home folder you see now there's a sim link to mirror and it's the same thing except it's uh, it'll show you in the address a different like it's in your home folder now the sim link right you can drop it in uh, somewhere here I think in your favorites yep 
you can rename it, remove it, or whatever. So there's your home folder. You can middle click if you had it set up for Sunar to go to the mirror on NTFS and then just close. So that's um, how you would uh, set up NTFS in Arch Linux and uh, specifically uh, Thunar or XF and, and XFCE4. Um, and if you want to remove it, just to like, just take out that line in the file system table and just remove the dot mirror if you wish, the slash mirror in your root directory, and that's it. Like I usually have these uh, on the fly, so I'm back up. And when I don't need it, I just unmount. But uh, if you want it running at startup, um, if you have like say music and it's taking up more room than you need on your hard drive, you can make another sim link uh, to music that's on mirror if you want. I don't have one there, but if you want to, you can do that as well. Okay. So I hope that helps out the user that asked and anybody else that's interested in. Uh, setting up NTFS or Windows partitions in uh, Arch Linux. Okay, so that's it for this one, and uh, thanks so much for watching. Apologies for the audio, I don't know what's wrong. Uh, it's uh, a little staticky. Anyways, uh, have a great day, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.